look at today's action. Let's start with the Philadelphia Phillies and the Toronto Blue Jays. Short two-game set here. Toronto looking for a little mini sweep here. Uh, Striplings on the hill for Toronto going against Zach Wheeler for the Phils. And Toronto, a dollar twelve favorite in this one. The total is eight, one fifteen to the underside in this game. Jeff, start us off here as we look at the Phillies in Wheeler in Toronto in Stripling. The Jays playing a little bit better baseball right now, and the Phillies, I don't know. Uh, handicap this for us. Yeah, I mean, I think for me with the Phillies, you know, being obviously in this area, you know, hearing kind of who they are and what they are, I think you know we have to just realize. Yeah, this is a 500 type of team. Okay, they may be a few games above by the end of the year. They may push for a wild card, but in the end, this is a team with a lot of flaws. Now today, um, they've got their guy on the mound, the guy that you know is their ace, and a guy that's been absolutely terrific, quite frankly. Um, that being said, I- I'm not interested in the Phillies' full game. I'm just not. Um, I know over the years how ineffective this bullpen is. I know how ineffective this ownership is, and not adding the right people to it. And, you know, you look at Wheeler. I mean, he's just been elite, particularly over the last couple of starts. Last two starts against St. Louis, 14 innings, didn't give up a run. Um, He was just exquisite. Uh, The problem you also have with the Phillies right now is some of the lineup problems. Mark mentioned that Bohm's out, uh, Bryce Harper's out. Um, But with how good, you know, Wheeler's been, with the fact that Stripling just isn't really a strikeout pitcher, seemingly, uh, 104 Ks for Wheeler, pretty impressive. If I'm going to get him at this price, I'm going to look at a first five just to be up or to not be down. Wheeler's the better pitcher. This is a pretty good lineup. I'm hoping they can scratch a run or two out. But I have no interest in a full game play with the Phillies because you look at Sunday, prime example, up in the game, what happens? Bullpen blows it. I'm just not interested in their bullpen. Bullpen is just a – it's like a four-letter word for me, guys, with a lot of these teams. <laughs> and uh, You definitely get that with both of these teams. Uh, Scott, uh, Phillies, uh, Toronto, any thoughts? Yeah, if you're into the old all-star snub theory, you're 2-1 and one thus far after Dylan Cease won game two yesterday, or at least the Tigers did when he was on the mound, um, and so, or the, the Sox. So I'm, I'm looking at this game, and I'm going, all right, the all-star snub theory has worked well for more than a decade. We talked about this the other day. Just the fact that guys get extremely motivated if they were snubbed and they have all-star numbers, that would be Zach Wheeler. So if he wins, they go to three and one so far this week with the snub pitchers. I'm more of a first five under guy in this game, having said that. I I lean under. Um, It's not an official play. I don't have it thus far. I might get involved a little bit later with either Philly or the under when it comes to the first five innings. But he's had one shaky start, Wheeler, in his last 10 games. And are splitting hairs when you mention anything negative about this guy in 2022. Hard hit and barrel numbers are as good as it gets, 33% and 5% respectively for Zach Wheeler. They don't get much lower than that. There's like a couple of the pitchers out there, and that's it, that can combine both the barrel and the hard hit rates in the neighborhood of his numbers. So he's been fantastic. It's going to be interesting because Toronto's numbers over the last month at home against righties are fantastic. Like number one or number two in batting average OPS, Woba, weighted runs created plus in the spot. So you got strength against strength. I think Wheeler will get the job done as far as keeping this team in check for the first half of the game. So for me, uh, I think it's a lean on the under in the first four or five innings. Uh, You want Stripling to be able to counter and hold the Phillies in check a bit. Jeff mentioned they're a little bit banged up, which hurts them at the plate. So uh, if I had to play this game, that's the way I'd go. First five innings under the total. If I could just say one thing, TC, uh, uh, Scott touched on it. It is an absolute travesty that Zach Wheeler is not in the Oscar game. It it seriously is. Okay. Now, look, I'm not going to knock Max Fried. I'm not. He's had a good season, a great season, actually. But if you're looking at strictly numbers, Wheeler's been better than Max Fried. He just has. Okay, you know, not by a ton, but he's been better. I know it's difficult because there's been some great pitchers in in, in the NL. Alcantara, Corbin Burns, you know, obviously Musgrove, Gonsolin. Uh, they're all worthy. And, and look, so is Freed. But to not have Wheeler in there, I think that's crazy. But I think he has a good way of thinking about it. People like Wheeler aren't going to get down on themselves. They're just going to continue to pitch well. They're professionals, uh, and, and they're consummate guys, and they're going to do that. It's a, it's a disgrace, though, I think. Yeah, the, I mean, the first guy off the 
the I guess the wait list, so to speak, was Rodon for the Giants, and he got in, you know, because of the injury uh, today. Yeah. But again, they they bypass Wheeler in this, so yeah, it, it's tough, and it's and it, it's hard to make a case. I mean, who would you take off? And Freed, know, yeah, I, I guess you know Freed, but again, you know, solid year, solid team. Um, I don't know. It's just, I mean, that is a tough call. I know I would it's better. And we've seen it, you know, we've seen year after year pitchers who should be in the all-star game that get snubbed because the yeah. rosters, again, we talked about this. We'll spend much time on it the other day about expanding the all-star roster. Even if a guy doesn't get in the game, I mean, you, it can't hurt, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and, yeah. and if Freed was left off, you know, and I get what Jeff said, but if Freed's left off, he's an all-star snub, you know? Yeah. So it's like, you, I just think you expand the rosters a little bit and give that guy that all-star nod whether he ends up coming in the game or not. Also, why is Luis Castillo on it over Zach Wheeler? Luis Castillo's pitched 71 innings. Zach Wheeler's pitched 95. He's got better numbers with a lot bigger sample size. And no, all due respect, no one on the Reds should be in the All Star game. Sorry, but, I, I but don't, that is why. That is why yeah, the. Castillo but I don't. I don't. Is, that, that, that's stupid. Red. I don't care about that stupid, lame rule. I don't. I don't want to see Reds on the. This team sucks. I don't want to see Reds on the on the All Star. I'm sick of this participation trophy crap. We don't need them. I don't need the Reds. Good season, but he's only pitched 71 innings. Give me a break. Yeah, that, that's why he's there because of that rule. Exactly.